Self-isolation, day two. We're gonna hit the water for a little bit, go out on the jet ski. Got some beers here, so we can just hang out, be to ourselves, enjoy the wonderful South Florida weather. Everyone else had the brilliant idea of going on the boat today. It's glorious out today. And I think everybody else knows it, plus spring break, you know. Forget that uh, everybody's trying to tell us to self-isolate. This is our version. <laughs> Where do you think we should go today? I don't know, we should go south down to Biscayne Bay probably. We definitely don't want to do the inlet. No. No, not the inlet, the um, sandbar. No, nah, we could pass through it and keep going. It's probably packed over there. Uh, it's been a while since we've been out on the ski, huh? Yeah. How long? Like months. Months. Yeah, the weather is nice and the water isn't as cold either, so yeah. I'm hoping to get for a, go for a dip. There's a ton of people out here today. It's ridiculous. You would think it's like Memorial Day, 4th of July, you know, some major, you know, summer holiday. <laughs> but apparently it's self-isolation day. <laughs> We made it to the Hallover Sandbar, where I think about 90% of boat or water vessel owners are <laughs> on the water today as we self-isolate together. <laughs> they don't look like they're self-isolating too much over there, though. No, they don't. I think this is the busiest I've ever seen. No, I've seen it busier, probably like on a major holiday. But you know, it's gorgeous out. A lot of people aren't going to work. See a reason why we shouldn't be going out on the water. Just stay away from us. You can wave from a distance if you see it.
cruise ships leave. Uh, it's getting kind of late, so we're going to head back now. Packed. 